go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Mic check. Mic check. I'm not over in my space to mic check, but let me. There is so much coming out. I think the night show is going to be all about um, oops. The night show is going to be all about um, the royals. It has to be about the royals until we find the night show is going to be all about Kate. We have to find Kate. It has to be, you know, one minute I'm thinking Kate is alive. I really am. I, I'm thinking I'm wrong. She's alive somewhere. She still could be alive. But we're down to two choices. Remember we had three, and I couldn't remember what the third one was. We were down to two. DOA or a say the asylum. A say the asylum. Those are the only two choices. DOA. Or a sane asylum, and if she is in a in an a sane asylum, I don't think they will let her live. It would be too embarrassing to show that King Charles lied. So, King Charles. Are you going to throw your son under the bus the way he threw his wife under the bus? Inquiring minds want to know. What are you going to do? We need to know, King Charles. Because are you hiding out in Sangrim? And is this such a private estate that maybe Kate is actually there in a dungeon somewhere? Or is she there in a coma like the Spanish journalist Conchita said? Concha, Concha, Concha Kaleja. I love that name. It's a beautiful name. Concha Kaleja. Is she in a coma? Is she withering away because she's not getting proper medical care? And is that what William really wants? For her to wither away. The UK is catching on to what I said at the beginning. No one will give me credit like you'll give that white woman, Sloan Bella. Bella. I said it from the beginning. I said, where was Kate? From the beginning. I don't know when I started this campaign of where is Kate? But I knew from jump this was not good for her. And as much as I would love to compare what Kate is going through and how Kate treated Megan, they don't compute. They don't compute. What computes is how Diana and how William saw his father treat Diana. And that's what Kate should have picked up on. If William could.
could allow this through his own mother, which Harry did not. Harry does not talk to that witch Camilla. But Kate should have noticed. If William could give up the ghost and talk to that woman without disdain, And Camilla was all in that decision. If Kate couldn't see that laughing, laughing with Camilla as Megan was walking down the aisle in her wedding gown, your faith was sealed when you didn't notice. Faith was sealed and you didn't notice. Sad, really. So sad. All right. What can we do, y'all? At least the UK is finally waking up. Finally. And there's some weird laws in the UK that will change. Kate may have initiated the, the photography law, which means the pilots can get pictures posted about, about them without their approval. That's the first thing. Um, let me say hi to everyone. Who's there? Ah. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Today is my son's birthday, James Oliver Jr. Happy birthday, James. Oh, Hi, Lisa. Oh, I said hi, Lisa. Okay. <laughs> Grand Rising and Good Health, Tracy and Chad. Hi, Jenny G. Jakari. Hi, Miss Tracy. Hi, Jakari. Marlene. Good morning, Tracy. Is today your son is on GMA? Yes. It's already appeared. But I did not see it yet. I'm so excited. I get to see it at 11 o'clock. I don't have regular TV, so I get to see it on Hulu, which reminds me, just reminded me about something. Um, he's going to be on Nightline as well, and I don't know where he's going to be at today. They're keeping me out the loop. I'm getting like bits and pieces. They're just so happy. This is his wife's first time in New York City. So I'm like, girl, girl. <laughs> Woo hoo. <laughs> Yes, but the media, the royalists are well-trained that if something bad is being said about William, bring up Harry.
hi incognito hi creative so but don't worry about it i'm gonna take this segment on gma once i get it on youtube on uh hulu Oh, I bet I get to see it at 11. Hulu. Oh, 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 oh. His wife is amazing. Hold on a second. Oh, oh, I have it. have it. Let me just listen to it. Oh, hold on. I'll have you guys listen to it with me. So exciting. You know what? I feel like a person that has just entered Baskin Robbins, right? With 32 flavors, right? There's so much to get to know um, about my son and his wife, right? Like, they're grown people now, right? I'm not mama anymore. I am someone to talk to, not someone to lecture and instruct, right? It's kind of like, oh, got to tell you something type of person. Somebody says it better. Sky says it better. Sky says, I'm not your mentor anymore. I'm not your parent anymore. Maybe it's I'm not your parent, I'm your mentor. Something like that. It's really cool. I think it was Sky. New comment. Grand Rising Mother of Brats. Got to go later, everyone. Bye, Adrian. Peace and blessings. Hi, sweet Carmel. Oh, you saw my son too. Oh my God. Yes. I'm so excited. I'm going to listen to it right now. I don't think I can play the video because of copyright issues. And God knows between Good Morning America and YouTube, that would be the worst. Come on, work with me. All right, save. Let me see if it shows up here. Hold on, guys. Nope. All right. Edit. There you go. Done. And let's send it over. There you go. Charge! Oh my God, what happened? Charge! All right. Hold on, guys. Photo library and add. Oh, come on. All right, let's take her out. Delete overlay, photo library, and charge. Charge. Thank you for watching, guys. If you have Hulu, you can watch Good Morning America on Hulu today at 11. That's where I'm going to literally watch it. But let's take a look.
Texan, take your eyes off the road and hands off the wheel for three or more seconds. Skip ad. Back with our GMA cover story, a new documentary is shining a light on what was going on behind the scenes at Nickelodeon, home to some of the most popular. Can you guys hear it? It was in the 90s and early 2000s. Eva Pilgrim sat down with two of the stars. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, y'all. Watching back some of these scenes and sketches. Now, as an adult, it hits you immediately how inappropriate. All right. Hopefully you guys can hear it. So much so we can't even air some of them in our story this morning. Cover story, a new documentary is shining a light on what was going on behind the scenes at Nickelodeon home to some of the most popular children's shows in the 90s and early 2000s. Eva Pilgrim sat down with two of the stars. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, y'all. Watching back some of these scenes and sketches now as an adult, it hits you immediately how inappropriate some of this content was. So much so we can't even air some of them in our story this morning. For the children on these sets, they tell us many of these jokes went over their heads, but the adult behavior was all around them. For children of the 90s and early 2000s, Nickelodeon was home to some of the most popular shows of the era, from the sketch comedy hit All That to The Amanda Show. But in the new Investigation Discovery docuseries, Quiet on the Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, some of the former child stars behind those shows say they were subjected to inappropriate work environments, one star even claiming he was sexually abused. If we don't get all these people out of here in less than two hours, our lives are over. Drake Bell from the show Drake and Josh revealing for the first time publicly that he is the John Doe victim in the 2003 child sexual abuse case against his dialogue coach, Brian Peck. Bell claims that Peck purposely isolated him from his father, who was also his manager. I think Brian got a sense that my dad was on the watch. And so he started to really drive a wedge between my dad and me. He started talking about how my dad's stealing my money. Nobody likes it. My dad's on set. He's a real problem. I was believing it because he's been in this business for so long and he must know more than us. Peck was convicted in 2004, sentenced to 16 months in prison and is now a registered sex offender. Bell says that abuse put him on a path of self-destruction, including two DUIs and a 2021 child endangerment conviction. Nickelodeon saying in a statement, we are dismayed and saddened to learn of the trauma he has endured, and we commend and support the strength required to come forward. I can't even describe the feeling to know that there was a monster among, among us. Giovanni Samuels and Brian Hearn starred in All That in 2001 and say Peck worked closely with the child actors. When you saw who the victim was, it broke my heart. I cried. We weren't close with Drake, but we were around him. He was a legend. And so to find out that he was being harmed Brutally hard. In a, in a terrible way, what is, it, it infuriated me. Hearn and Samuels also speaking about former writer and executive producer Dan Schneider, who Nickelodeon parted ways with in 2018 after complaints he created a hostile work environment. What was it like working for Dan Schneider? Dan. <laughs> You're asking the two black children on a Nickelodeon set where we were overlooked. The actors were calling <laughs> sketches written by yes, Schneider's team like on air dare. Yeah. Those were torture moments for all of us. Kern's dare had him covered in peanut butter and then licked by dogs. My on air dare, I was saying, I don't like this. And to see that is and to voice it and, and, and to have voiced it. I don't like this and to be ignored because oh it's funny yeah is it was it funny who was it funny for right one for me Hearn and samuel say My they hope the series there. sparks an important conversation okay. about the treatment Talk of child me. actors no. your childhood is going to be a little tainted after watching it yeah. but i hope that it helps you protect the next group of kids yeah. that comes up.
Now, about the hostile workplace allegations, um, Nickelodeon tells ABC News, while it cannot corroborate or negate allegations of behaviors from productions decades ago, it investigates complaints as part of our commitment to fostering a safe and professional workplace environment free of harassment or other kinds of inappropriate conduct. We have adopted numerous safeguards over the years to help ensure we are living up to our own high standards and the expectations of our audience. As for Schneider, a spokesperson tells ABC News his scripts went through multi-layers of executive approval and that, quote, Dan expected and asked a lot from his teams, but he also knows some people did not have a positive experience and he is truly sorry for that. Quiet on the set, the dark side of Kids TV, a two-night event starts Sunday, March 17th, beginning at 9 p.m., on ID. Robin. Ooh, that was an eye opening report, Eva. Thank you for sharing that with us. Danny, that's not it. The documentary is way worse. Text the in, documentary take your is so bad. When I'm nervous, I smile. It's before the kill. <laughs> so. It's bad. Thank you, A. Walker. I saw the documentary already and I am in shock. in shock. I don't think Nickelodeon understands how bad it is. I don't think Nickelodeon gets it. And it might have been something that happened 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 17 years ago. You still should have had things in place to protect these kids. You should have been talking to the kids. Like, why was that unreasonable? You should have been like, hey, can we have a meeting? Because back in the day, you had a box where you could, like, talk to executives in um, New York City. But they had a corporate office in, you know what? They should have had a Nickelodeon rep on set at all times. Oh, and he looked, what, what is he, what was that shirt? Find yourself? Oh my God, wait a minute. Rod, you looked gorgeous. Gorgeous. Also, find yourself. Find yourself. Find your. I'm gonna. When I type too fast, oh, you should see the text messages. That my mind is straight. My fingers ain't. Where is that from? It is everything I could do not to get mad. I mean, I was fine until I saw the documentary. Once I saw the documentary, <laughs> God. the magnitude of abuse was rampant. Rampant. Is a mom allowed to say that? Because I don't know nowadays. And hella sexy. Yes. Yes. 
What? What? His wife brought it. What? With the same find yourself? Or was that added? He was cute. Oh, and the color. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, and the coloring. The color. The color was perfect. It was like a grayish white, not even gray. It was like, oh, perfect, perfect. What color? Monochrome. Monochrome. Color was that? Day, nice outfit. You did good. Nice day, nice outfit. Let me see. You did good. You did good. So now I can't wait for 11. You did good. They all appreciate this one. <laughs> they like Robert De Niro, so I picked a Robert De Niro one. <laughs> from Sheen? You, she brought it from Sheen. All right, I, I'm learning newness with family have not been around for two years. And I'm learning love. I'm learning new love. I'm learning, I'm learning happiness, new happiness. I had already made myself happy in spite of, but it's new happiness. So I'm just like enjoying everything right now because I don't want it to ever end again. Amanda, Brina recently uploaded, sent it to me. I wanna see what she put through. <laughs> What's a walker? What's a walker? <laughs> well, he didn't know, right? He didn't know that I was a real mom. He thought I was a pain in the ass. And so it's just so nice to get the adult child to see how much I loved him. That's, you can't buy that energy to, to, to get to that space of, of real love. Yeah. Hi, Marcella Amore. This is so exciting. So exciting. <sighs> Thank you. 
Oh, Marlene, um, let me play it for y'all right now. Uh, go to Tracy Brown Live at Gmail if you want to join the watch party. And it airs March 17th. To hear that Brian Peck was a sexual predator, it made me wonder immediately about who was being hurt. Who it is, when it happened, where it happened, I have no idea. It wasn't dealing with anybody on the shows or anything, right? It was a child actor. On one of our shows? Yes. guys we are i'm overwhelmed but it is what it is i have a right to be overwhelmed i'm overwhelmed <laughs> i'm like ready to shut down because i'm like overwhelmed wow Brennis Diaz, wellness, congrats to you and your son, Tracy. All the rainbows, dancing, balloons, hearts. Thank you, sweetie. Amanda didn't say anything. It's just that she looks so out of it. Yeah, she is, I believe. But even time can cure mental health, right? But when your brain is fried for whatever reason, it could take years. Like, my sister's brain has just repaired itself remarkably. It's amazing how well she's doing mentally, even though she does act out at times a lot. <laughs> but she's still better than she was five years ago. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I spoke to her the other day, and the first thing that came out of her mouth was, I was good. I was good. I was like, you're lying. You're so lying to me. What did you do? I did nothing, sis. I was good. I was good. I was like, you lie. <laughs> lie. <laughs> All right. I enjoyed Amanda Bynes back in the day. She was simply adorable. She was so funny to me. Sad how things turned out for her. You know what I think is, oh, wait, let me put this. I'm going to talk to you both at the same time. So funny that out of all the kids, you two spoke up. The black ones spoke out. There were eight or nine kids on that show, on my son series. There were eight or nine or up to 10 kids on all the series. They had a total of 10, uh, 10 or nine seasons, I don't remember, right? And these were the two that spoke out. So imagine how controlling this situation was for most people. That somehow they think they can still benefit because that's the only reason they wouldn't speak out. Wow. Oh, 
Chow. So let me put this banner down and let me put if you want a reading with me, come 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 and get it. If you want a reading with me, 213-458-7408. 4587408 248 if you want a reading with me. I'm so sleepy. I'm not sleepy. I'm mentally in another headspace. This is a lot to take in, guys. I hope you guys can forgive me. This is a lot to take in. It's like, uh, I just want to grab somebody. Oh, wait, wait, I'm going to do something else. Black power. Wait, I'm glad Brian said. The black ones. <laughs> they were big on token blacks. <laughs> Racism. <laughs> you don't understand. There's no camaraderie unless you have a black boy in your age bracket. There's no camaraderie unless you have a black girl in your age brackets. But the whites had each other. They had two white boys. They had two white girls. They, but they had one black boy and one black girl. And that was enough. And how about somebody Spanish? Like a known Spanish. Known Someone whose name is Garcia and she looks Spanish, not white. You guys don't get it. It's a lot. It's so much, guys. Let me see what everybody's saying. Hi, Bree. Good morning, lovely people. That's really good to hear. I remember you talking about, yeah, mm -hmm. I enjoyed Amanda. But yep, I read that. Amanda didn't say anything. Yeah. When does the, oh, yeah, I told you, March 17th. On I believe it's on ID channel, but I believe it's on ID channel the next day. It's going to be on HBO Max. It says Max. This is what images, wait, images. This is what Max looks like now. I don't think it says HBO Max anymore. It just says Max, M-A-X. All right. That's what candle soups are. Mm, mm, good. Oh, this is this is exhausting. Fighting for your honor is exhausting. Oh, cute! This is nice. I want to take a picture of this. Oh, yeah, that. Aww. They are having a good time. I'm jealous. They're having a good time. Yes. I'm jealous in a good way. I'm jealous because they're young. 
and enjoying their lives in New York City right now. Okay. We were talking about the Brits and them all discovering some BS, but I do have something else to tell you guys. Let me just look at my notes. United Airlines has decided to ground uh, Max Airlines airplanes, Boeing Max airplanes. Something is going on with Boeing. There's a disgruntled dispute going on. Has to be. Max 9s. They're, they're grounding Max 9s, I believe. So United Airlines, who has the hub at Newark now, um, is gro uh, grounding 737 MAX 9 planes. It will cripple routes, though. But I'd rather the route get crippled than it falling out of the sky. Hundreds of passengers flying to and from Palm Beach International Airport have had their travel plans shaken up by the grounding of Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes. The FAA grounded the fleet of United Airlines MAX 9s earlier this month. In the past two weeks, United has been forced to cancel an average of 17 flights a week from Newark to Palm Beach. The MAX 9s can carry up to 111 passengers, which means up to 1,900 passengers will have to scramble to either find other flights or not go at all. All right. Hi, Ari. And then, moving on. T take the planes out of the sky, please. Like, ground all the planes. I understand y'all are going to have a loss of money. I get it. Look, just ground them. The other thing is PETA, that weird group, Although I can appreciate them, but you know how they go overboard by throwing um, paint on people's fur coats so that nobody can wear fur coats anymore. Did you guys realize that? You don't see fur coats being worn in New York City anymore. And that was, that was the look for the winter always. Peter has said to the White House, can you drop potatoes? and make it an Easter potato hunt. I'm, I'm with you, I love a good fur. I've always wanted to own one. Oh, good fur is nice. But you know, Peter was like, mm -mm 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 -mm. okay. It's no yoke. PETA, P-E-T-A, PETA urges White House to swap eggs for potatoes at Easter egg roll. I mean, if you get the little, have you seen the little tiny potatoes? I guess if you paint them or spray paint them, I guess you can use, no one eats the eggs, so I kind of get it. It's not like you go... You know, it's probably an old pagan ritual anyway, and y'all aren't supposed to be acting all pagan anyway, but I bet it's a pagan ritual. In any case, PETA, that weird group, who does good for animals, right? I wish PETA was on set when the dogs were licking peanut butter off my child. All right, Tracy, calm down. 
I'm trying to calm down. <laughs> Anywho, Peter, they want to switch it to potatoes. <laughs> Do you know the little tiny potatoes? I got little tiny potatoes. Let me show you. I might make them. Oh, I can't make them. Okay, I'll make I'll make them. But I can't make them. Don't you love these potatoes? Right? So, you get these potatoes and you paint them all kinds of colors. And then, voila, you got Easter eggs. Look, don't you love these? Like you put them, you wash them first, of course. And then you put them in a bowl and you season them. So saturate them with butter first, right? With your hands, right? Put butter all over it. Some people like to put olive oil. That's just olive oil is just as good. In fact, maybe better. Maybe I'll do it olive oil. And then you season it with garlic powder, onion powder, and some salt. Mix that in. Stick that in the oven. And bite on it. So this is a perfect size for Easter egg. I mean, I can kind of see it. Right? All right. All right, everyone. I am going to end early only because I am overwhelmed just from listening. I was watching it as you guys were listening to it, and so I'm overwhelmed. <sighs> It's a lot going on, guys. A lot. So, mental health, mental health, mental health. Okay? Take care and let them eggs alone. <laughs> Perfect recipe, right, Elvis? Yeah, ciao. Use olive oil. I'm going to try olive oil today. I've got loads of olive oil. I live in olive oil. Like, that's that's too big, but... Look at this size. This size. Look at that size right there. That's a good size. This is a good size. Right? All right. What I don't see here is purple. Oh, chow. Have you guys ever had the purple potatoes? So good. So good. I love me some, but these are red and white. All right. Yum, baby potatoes. I know. Um, you know, I might make some for lunch. Maybe I should make some for lunch. I could make some for lunch. Yum. According, thank you, Angela. According to the ID Channel's website, the four part docuseries will premiere across two nights on ID from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Time on Sunday, March 17th, and Monday, March 18th. Oh, Sunday. That's a good day. I didn't even realize Sunday was Sunday. So it's this Sunday. I don't know why I thought it was Tuesday. <gasps> Sunday, March 17th at at 9 p.m., 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. So please watch it on ID, watch it on Max. Um, I believe ID is free. Watch it on ID, watch it on Max. But also I'm having a Zoom party, so come join me for Zoom. The purple tastes so good with roasted with a touch of sea salt. Yes, yes. I put Himalayan salt. All sea salt is just as fine. But I think I'm going to cook some right now. Because I want to. All right, guys. St. Patrick's Day. Oh, wow. Well, try not to be too drunk, everyone. But 
enjoy St. Patrick's Day. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I will see you later, either Dashikis and Bonnets, and definitely tonight. All right? I love you guys. Take it easy. Bye. In the early 90s, Nickelodeon was kid everything. And you better hope that your house had cable. It wasn't there to educate you. We were there to have fun, to get slogged, to be entertained. And this is when Dan Schneider arrives. Nickelodeon's golden boy. He created these shows that were hugely successful for them. No one had ever really done sketch comedy starring kids for kids. He launched the careers of child actors who became major stars. For 20 years, he shaped children's entertainment and culture. Hey, thank you for being here. But that marked one of the darkest chapters. Working for Dan was like being in an abusive relationship. Dan's treatment of people on his shows was an open secret. So my lawyer filed complaints, gender discrimination, hostile work environment, harassment, and it was so devastating. How safe can any kids be in that environment? There would be even bigger problems down the line with actual pedophiles on set. These are three predators who worked at Nickelodeon, all in a short amount of time. Hey guys, we're ready for you. It was a toxic environment. It made me trust people less. We were there for so many hours. You get comfortable with people until you're not. I had no idea what I was saving my son from. It's a house of horrors. They find this enormous trove of child pornography. The officer said we found Ziploc bags, each one with a girl's name on it. 11 charges of child sexual abuse related to a child actor. It made me wonder who was being hurt. I've been waiting 17 years for today. It wasn't dealing with anybody on the shows or anything, right? It was a child actor. On one of our shows? Yes. Have you ever told your story publicly before? 